The Menominee, also known as the Menominee people or Menominee, are a federally recognized tribe of Native Americans. They are formally known as the Menominee Indian Tribe of Wisconsin. The name Menominee is derived from the Ojibwe language phrase for wild rice people. And in the Menominee language, they refer to themselves as Mama Sektaw, meaning the people. The Menominee Indian Reservation in Wisconsin serves as its territorial foundation. Their ancestral land once included around 10 million acres, 40,000 square kilometers, in what is now Wisconsin in the Upper Peninsula of Michigan. The tribe presently consists of around 8,700 people. The tribe's federal status was revoked in the 1960s as part of a program that emphasized assimilation. In that time frame, they presented a significant legal challenge to the United States Supreme Court, known as Menominee Tribe vs. United States, 1968, in order to safeguard their treaty-based hunting and fishing privileges. The Wisconsin Supreme Court and the United States Court of Claims reached contradictory opinions about the impact of the termination on Menominee hunting and fishing rights on their previous reserve property. The U.S. Supreme Court concluded that the tribe had not forfeited their traditional hunting and fishing rights due to termination, as Congress had not explicitly abolished these rights in its act. The tribe recovered its federal status in 1973 by an act of Congress, which resulted in the reestablishment of its reservation in 1975. The system functions based on a written constitution that establishes a government elected by the people. In 1979, the tribe assumed control of tribal governance and administration from the Bureau of Indian Affairs, BIA. The Menominee belonged to the Algonquian language family, which encompasses many tribes currently residing around the Great Lakes and other tribes situated along the Atlantic coast of North America. The tribe in question is among the indigenous groups who resided in the region now known as Upper Michigan and Wisconsin during the time of European colonization. Their territory encompassed around 10 million acres, 40,000 square kilometers. It is widely thought that they had established a stable presence in the region for over 1,000 years. According to several sources, they are the offspring of the old copper culture individuals and other native populations that had inhabited this region for a span of 10,000 years. According to Menominee oral tradition, they had a long-standing presence in the area and identify themselves as Kiash Machitiwuk, meaning ancient ones. According to their legend, their reserve is situated 60 miles to the west of the location where their creation took place. The Menominee River joins Green Bay of Lake Michigan, and the city of Marinette, Wisconsin has evolved at that location. Their self-designation is Mama Sektaw, signifying the people. The term Menominee is not their self-designation. Europeans borrowed it from the Ojibwe people, an Algonquian tribe they encountered while moving west, who informed them about the Menominee. The Ojibwe tribe was called Manumini, which translates to wild rice people, since they relied heavily on cultivating wild rice as a vital food source. Throughout history, the Menominee tribe has been recognized for their peaceful, amiable, and hospitable nature, earning a reputation for harmonious relationships with other indigenous nations. During the period of AD 800 to 900, the Menominee coexisted with the Oneota civilization in the forests and rivers of southern Wisconsin. The Menominee tribe belongs to the northeastern woodlands region. European explorers first encountered them in Wisconsin during the mid-17th century of the colonial era. Subsequently, they had continued and prolonged interactions with the explorers during succeeding times in North America. During this era, they resided in multiple settlements that the French frequented for fur trading. According to anthropologist James Mooney's estimation in 1928, the population of the tribe in 1650 was around 3,000 individuals. The early French explorers and traders called the inhabitants full avoines, wild oats, since they produced and collected wild rice, which was one of their main meals. The Menominee have historically relied on a diverse range of flora and fauna for sustenance, with wild rice and sturgeon being particularly significant. The tribe holds wild rice in high regard as their primary crop, but the sturgeon holds a significant mythological significance and is commonly regarded to as the father of the Menominee. Annual feasts are still organized, during which each of these dishes is offered. The practices of the Menominee people have a striking resemblance to those of the Chippewa, Ojibwa, who are also part of the Algonquian ethnic group. 
Their language exhibits a stronger resemblance to the languages spoken by the Fox and Kickapoo tribes. All four individuals were fluent in Anishinaabe languages, which belong to the Algonquian language family. The five primary Menominee clans consist of the bear, eagle, wolf, crane, and moose. Each member of the tribe has specific and customary duties. Under the patrilineal kinship system, the Menominee people adhere to the belief that children get their social standing from their fathers and are considered to be born into their father's clan. Individuals belonging to the same clan are regarded as kin, hence they are required to select spouses from outside their clan. James Mooney, an ethnologist, authored an essay about the Menominee tribe that was published in the Catholic Encyclopedia in 1913. However, he made an erroneous claim stating that the Menominee's lineage and inheritance are passed down exclusively through the female line. A matrilineal kinship structure is prevalent among other Native American groups, including other Algonquian tribes. In 1634, the Menominee and Ho-Chunk tribes, together with a group of Potawatomi who had lately migrated to Wisconsin, observed the arrival and landing of the French explorer Jean Nicolet. Red Banks, located in close proximity to the contemporary metropolis of Green Bay, Wisconsin, subsequently flourished in this region. Nicolet, in search of a Northwest Passage to China, aspired to discover and make a strong impression on the Chinese. Upon the canoe's approach to the shore, Nicolet adorned himself with a silk Chinese ceremonial robe, rose to a standing position in the center of the canoe, and discharged two handguns. Pierre-Francois Xavier de Charlevoix, a French Catholic clergyman, educator, historian, novelist, and explorer, meticulously documented his journeys through Wisconsin and Louisiana in a comprehensive diary. In 1721, he encountered the Menominee tribe, which he referred to as Malominas, Pupil d'Avoine, or Wild Oat Indians. The Menominee tribe, initially maintaining a neutral stance during the War of 1812, eventually formed an alliance with the British and Canadians. They actively aided in the defeat of American soldiers in their attempt to regain Fort Mackinac at the Battle of Mackinac Island. Over the next decades, the Menominee people faced increasing pressure from the arrival and expansion of European-American settlers in their territory. The initial arrival of settlers in Michigan was driven by the opportunities for forestry in the Upper Peninsula in the exploitation of natural resources, which drew a workforce. By the middle of the 20th century, the intrusion of new settlers was growing. In the 1820s, the Menominee tribe was approached by representatives of the Christianized Stockbridge Muncie Indians from New York, who requested to share or get some of their territory. The Menominee tribe progressively relinquished a significant portion of their territories in Michigan and Wisconsin to the United States government in a series of seven treaties spanning from 1821 to 1848. Initially, they surrendered their lands in Michigan. The U.S. government sought to relocate Native Americans to the western regions during Wisconsin's statehood formation period, with the purpose of eradicating all Native American land rights. Chief Oshkosh inspected the suggested location along the Crow River and declined the provided property, asserting that their existing acreage was more suitable for hunting and game. The Menominee people maintained possession of territories adjacent to the Wolf River, which eventually formed their present-day reserve. The tribe originated in Wisconsin and now resides in their ancestral territories. The Menominee Indian Reservation is situated in the northeastern region of Wisconsin. Primarily, it coincides with Menominee County and the town of Menominee, which were created following the tribe's termination in 1961 as part of the government's strategy at the time, aiming for assimilation. In 1975, the tribe successfully recovered its status as a recognized entity by the federal government, along with the rights to its reservation. The reservation was established in a deal with the United States on May 12, 1854. In this treaty, the Menominee tribe gave up all rights to the lands they had previously controlled under earlier treaties. Instead, they were allocated an area of 432 square miles, 1,120 square kilometers, along the Wolf River in what is now Wisconsin. On February 11, 1856, they signed an extra treaty that designated a distinct reserve for the Stockbridge and Lenape Munsi tribes in the southwestern portion of this region. These tribes had arrived in the area as refugees from New York State. 
The Stockbridge Munsee community is the federally recognized community of the last two tribes mentioned. Following the tribe's restoration of federal status in 1973, it effectively reinstated the reservation to its original limits in 1975. Several tiny areas inside the county, including its corresponding municipality, are not included in the reserve. The reservation comprises 1.14% of the county's total land, leaving the remaining 98.86% for other use. The most sizable of these enclaves is situated in the western region of the community of Keshina, Wisconsin. Per the United States, according to the Census Bureau, the Menominee Reserve and Off-Reservation Trust land together have a total area of 362.8 square miles, 939.6 square kilometers. Out of this, 355.5 square miles, 920.7 square kilometers, are land and 7.3 square miles, 18.9 square kilometers, are water. In the 2020 census, the non-reservation areas of the county, although smaller in size, had a higher population density compared to the reservation. These non-reservation areas accounted for 1,223 individuals, which is 28.7% of the county's total population of 4,255. In contrast, the reservation had a population of 3,032 individuals, making up 71.3% of the county's population. Legend Lake and Kashina are the most densely populated localities. Starting from the late 20th century, the individuals residing in the reserve have managed several gaming establishments in various areas to generate income. They are bilingual in English and their native Menominee language, which belongs to the Algonquian language family. The present population of the tribe is around 8,700 individuals. The Menominee have historically engaged in logging activities using sustainable practices. In 1905, a tornado ravaged the reserve, causing extensive deforestation. Due to the inability of the Menominee-owned sawmills to extract all the fallen timber before it underwent decomposition, the United States Forest Service intervened in the management of their forest. Although the tribe and Senator Robert M. La Follette Sr. advocated for a sustainable yield strategy, the Forest Service continued to engage in clear-cutting on reserve grounds until 1926, resulting in the removal of 70% of the timber that could be sold. The Department of the Interior has re-established authority over the region since it maintains responsibility for overseeing the reserve on behalf of the Menominee. Over the course of the following 12 years, the cutting of timber that could be sold was decreased to 30%, so enabling the forest to undergo regeneration. In 1934, the Menominee initiated legal proceedings in the United States Court of Claims against the Forest Service, alleging that its policy had significantly harmed their natural resource. In 1952, the court reached an agreement and resolved the issue, ultimately granting the Menominee tribe a settlement of $8.5 million. The Menominee, along with other Native Americans, served as troops in World War II alongside their fellow United States citizens. In the 1950s, the federal Indian policy aimed to end the special relationship between the United States government and tribes that were deemed prepared for assimilation into mainstream society. The Menominee were designated for termination, which would effectively strip them of their status as a sovereign country. During that period, the Klamath people in Oregon were the sole tribal group that had been designated for termination. The Bureau of Indian Affairs, BIA, held the belief that the Menominee tribe had achieved a level of economic self-sufficiency through their wood sector, which made them capable of functioning successfully without the need for government aid and supervision. Prior to their dissolution, they were among the most affluent Native American tribes in the United States. In 1954, Congress enacted legislation that gradually eliminated the Menominee Reservation, resulting in the official termination of its tribal identity on April 30, 1961. Tribal property that was commonly owned was transferred to a corporation called Menominee Enterprises, Inc., MEI. The entity has an intricate framework and consisted of two trusts, with one of them, namely First Wisconsin Trust Company, being designated by the BIA. First Wisconsin Trust Company consistently used its voting rights as a unified entity, so exerting significant influence over the managerial activities of MEI. 
In response to the Menominee's request, the state established the old reservation as a new county in order to preserve its unity. The tribe was originally tasked with assuming county government tasks, but instead it ended up becoming a subordinate territory of the state. The move led to a decline in the quality of life for the tribal members. As a result, the officials had to shut down the hospital and certain schools to allocate funds for the conversion. They either had to offer their own services or outsource them from the county. During this period, Menominee County in Wisconsin was characterized by its low population and poverty. The termination policy had a negative impact on the region. The community could not rely only on tribal crafts and agriculture for sustenance. Due to the absence of industrial activity, the Menominee tribe was unable to finance essential services. The contributions from MEI, which amounted to $10 million in 1954, decreased to $300,000 by 1964. In 1967, facing financial difficulties, the MAI, which was predominantly controlled by white individuals, suggested generating funds by selling ancestral lands to non-Native Americans. This decision sparked a strong negative reaction from the Menominee community. During a time of Indian activism, community members initiated an organizing drive with the aim of reclaiming political sovereignty for the Menominee tribe. Among the activists was Ada Deer, who subsequently served as Assistant Secretary of Indian Affairs, 1993-1997, and became a prominent champion for Native Americans at the federal level. In 1970, activists established a collective known as the Determination of Rights and Unity for Menominee stockholders, Durums. The sale of tribal land by MEI to non-Indian developers was prevented, and control of the MEI Board of Directors was effectively obtained. Additionally, they successfully convinced Congress to reinstate their federally recognized sovereign uh, tribe status through legislation. Simultaneously, President Richard Nixon advocated for a federal strategy aimed at promoting self-governance among Indian tribes, while also seeking to enhance educational opportunities and safeguard religious freedoms. On December 22, 1973, he approved the bill granting federal status to the Menominee Tribe of Wisconsin. The Sovereign Tribe initiated the task of restructuring the reserve, which they reinstated in 1975. In 1976, members of the tribe prepared and approved a tribal constitution. Subsequently, a new tribal administration was elected and assumed control from BIO authorities in 1979. In 1963, during the termination period when the Menominee people were no longer under tribal jurisdiction and subject to state law, three members of the tribe were accused of breaking Wisconsin's hunting and fishing regulations on property that had previously been their reservation for almost a century. The tribe members were found not guilty. Upon the state's appeal, the Wisconsin Supreme Court ruled that the Menominee tribe's hunting and fishing rights were revoked as a result of the termination legislation passed by Congress in 1954. Following the state court's decision, the tribe filed a lawsuit against the United States seeking compensation for the monetary worth of its hunting and fishing privileges within the country. The case of Menominee Tribe versus United States, 1968, was heard in the Court of Claims. The court determined that tribe members retained their hunting and fishing privileges and that Congress had neither revoked or nullified such privileges. The divergent decisions made by the state and federal courts prompted the matter to be taken before the United States Supreme Court. In 1968, the Supreme Court ruled that the tribe maintained its hunting and fishing privileges as outlined in the treaties, and these rights were not forfeited when federal recognition was terminated by the Menominee Termination Act. This was because Congress did not explicitly revoke these rights in its legislation. This case has been significant in Indian law since it has contributed to the protection of Native American hunting and fishing rights. The tribe functions in accordance with a documented constitution. The process involves the selection of a tribal council and a chairman. The Menominee tribe established the College of Menominee Nation in 1993, and it received accreditation in 1998. It encompasses a sustainable development institute. The objective is to educate and promote their ethical principles for maintaining a harmonious existence with the environment. It is among several tribal schools and universities that have emerged since the early 1970s, and one of two located in Wisconsin. 
Menominee's spiritual culture include customary rituals for adolescents upon reaching puberty. During ceremonies, individuals abstain from eating for many days and reside in a tiny, secluded wigwam. As part of this transition, young people have one-on-one -on -one meetings with elders to have their dreams interpreted and to get guidance on the adult duties they would assume after completing their rites of passage. Menominee diets traditionally consist of locally sourced items, including allium trichocum, also known as ramps or wild garlic. The boiled and sliced potatoes of Sagittaria cunita are conventionally threaded and dehydrated for winter preservation. Uvularia grandiflora, often known as bellwort, has long been employed for the alleviation of pain and swelling. Pseudognephalium obtusifolium, specifically the subspecies obtusifolium, often known as rabbit tobacco, is also utilized for its therapeutic properties. Tinidia integerima, a member of the parsley family, is used as a root infusion to alleviate pulmonary issues. Additionally, the steeped root is chewed to treat bronchial conditions.